SHOT Show 2023, and I literally stumbled into uh, the Mawashi guys here, uh, Anthony yep. and nice Dominic. Nice to meet you, sir. Dominic looks like he wants to kick my ass, like right away. I just love that. I love that 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 interplay that we have. I mean, it's a it's a magnetic thing between the two of us. I can tell already. He's going to be my drinking buddy next week. <laughs> <laughs> so, Anthony, please yep. tell me uh, the 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 background of the company, what this is all about, and you know, we'll just kind of go from there. And you're going to be pirouetting like a dancing ballerina for us by all appearances. Yeah, exactly. So, Mawashi Science Technology, um, the company uh, created uh, in 2003. So, we've been into the exoskeleton industry since 10 years uh, Ten years ago. We started in 2013, approximately. And this is uh, a uh, product that we have right now. It's called the Uprise. So, the main idea for the Uprise is to, it's a load-bearing transfer system. Uh, so, there's no battery, no electricity at all. It doesn't give you more power, but the uh, main objective of it is to reduce over time the fatigue and the risk of injury. And you know, soldiers and military forces are wearing a lot of carry gear um, on the backpack, plate carriers, stuff like that. So the main idea here is, as you can see, there's a little winglet here that goes all the way down there under the feet, so in the boots, and it redirects the weight to have a better posture and a better way to have less um, strain on the body itself. So right, what you lead, what you see is the material is mostly titanium because it's very lightweight, very sturdy, and we wanted to make it happen more on the field. Yeah. Yeah. What is the uh, over, on this set? I imagine that there may be a variance in weight depending on the the sizing for the individual. But what, typically, what would be weight on on this rig? So approximately, approximately the whole kit will will be like approximately maybe 15 to 20 pounds maximum. Um, we're talking about sizing, the normal sizing will be 15 pounds. Um, of course, uh, we do have sizing charts, so depending on the, uh, the height and the weight of the users itself, it's gonna change a little bit. But overall, you don't really feel it because it's all over your body, right? So you don't have any pressure points towards uh, a segment. It's all over the body and it's very comfortable and very ergonomics. It, it's, it, you mentioned the exoskeleton concept, yep. and I mean, it, it's almost like, well, literally, like, well, you said it, exoskeleton. I mean, I, I could just, you know, be, be, re, be redundant for you. But yeah, very, very interesting. What is the uh, typical enhancement in weight, weight bearing load ability? In other words, say, say Dominic can carry, a, you know, typically say a, a 75 pound rock comfortably. What, what more could he carry using this? So, so it doesn't give you more, um, more forces, more strength about how much carry can you get. But at some point, it's going to unload this shoulder, so preventing those kind of injury over time. As, we, as you guys may know, like soldiers were about like 100 to 100 and more pounds over their shoulder. So we're going to release those trape upper trapezes and all the way down to the, to the boot. So the spine is going to take the load, the exoskeleton is going to take the load instead of the human body itself. So it'll enhance, it'll it extend his range, it'll extend his time. Exactly. Yeah. So we're aiming to give you more endurance and more uh, and less fatigue over time. This is our main goal here. What is uh, price point on this? Or strike that. When did when did you first come up with this? And is this something that is deployable at this time, or is it still under development? So right now we do have units on the field. Um, of course, we do have uh, units back there. We're, we're keep testing. We're keeping in the evolution. You can already get in touch with us, and we're gonna send maybe a quote about how much volume you guys need and everything. We don't have a, like a special price depending on how much you guys really need in terms of volume. Right. Right. Um, and, and it is field deployable at this point, or are you still doing testing and evaluation of t &E? Well, we always do testing, right? We're right. a company that and, and mainly... I, let me jump back in. What yeah. I meant is, is this more in a prototype stage at this point, or would you say that it is well, actually... It, it always depends with, with which, which client we're working with, mm -hmm. right? So some of them, we are already deployed, but we're still in the evolution of like research and development, of course. Yeah. Okay, very so good. we got two stages. Okay, very good. Well, listen, uh, anything else you'd like to add? Well, thank you for your time, and uh, if you have any question towards uh, Mawashi itself, feel free to contact us, and we'll send a quote and the information that you are willing to. Uh, how give long is how long has Mawashi been in existence? It's been uh, since 2003. Three? Okay, yeah. very good. Uh, next question for you first, and then you. Yeah. Favorite adult beverage? 
Uh, whiskey for sure. Whiskey? <laughs> so yeah, uh, Stewart's uh, Balvini Caribbean cask, right? <laughs> How about I would Jager? say Jager, man. Jager? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, he's a young guy, so yeah, he's, gonna, he's got the Yeah, Jager. He's got the Jager. I'm over 30 though, so that's There fine. you go. Yeah, well. <laughs> Cigars? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes? Yeah. You like Maduro, you like the darker, you like the more, more lighter? Darker? Yeah, Maduro's? You? Uh, maybe Cigario, like a smaller one. Yep. Well, a guy who's drinking Jaeger, you know, <laughs> come on. You gotta, don't worry, you'll, you'll catch up. You'll at catch up real soon, brother. At some point, maybe. You'll yep, catch up, yep, brother. Yep. You will catch up. Okay, we're going to cut and we're going to sample that uh, Balvini. Okay, so we just, we wrapped up. We sampled a little bit of Balvini. What did you think? Oh, it was very good, to be honest. What did you think of the Balvini? It was excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Guy? Yeah, awesome. Guy's still sampling it. What are yeah. we just talking about? Uh, uh, okay, so a thought just came to mind as we were kind of decompressing from the interview. I asked, how long does it to take to deploy or to, to place this on or to, to armor up? Not armor up because it's not armor, but to uh, to get it into place or to remove it. You mentioned less than about a minute, like putting on your, your, your equipment, your gear. So show me how fast. All right, give me a countdown. Three, two, one. Let's go. You know the Balvini's helping him with this. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> this is it. Okay, and that's it. And the only thing left on are the inserts into the boots, correct? Exactly. Right? And so, would you, you be able to? to walk with yeah, this. let me, let me, Easily. yeah. So walk yeah. down the hall. So he's just walking around without it deployed. A bit of a saunter. Yeah, outstanding. So if we get you on one of those stripper poles, you'll still be good even without the <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, if this was an outstanding interview. So much. Uh, definitely appreciate it. Guy, you take care of these guys. Oh, yeah. Well. And uh, don't forget the Balvini, right? Okay. <laughs> Safe trip home. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>